These lime green candy apple bowls will make your candy apples pop. I love fashion and what other way to show it? Hi, I'm the DIY Queen Diva. I like to make my candy apple bowls and candy apples walk because this is my runaway. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep updated with me and all of my videos on the weekends and pop-up videos during the week. You need your ribbon. And this is what I'm talking about when I say double face. It has double face on the ribbon. You can use double face or satin. Here's the brand. This actually comes from Walmart. And here's the size, one and a half inches times 12 feet. So this ribbon is 12 feet long. Your scissors and your liner. Okay, so first I am going to cut this plastic piece off. Take this plastic off. I'm going to go ahead and cut this even. So I am just going to cut strips of ribbon to prepare myself. I'm going to cut about 20 inches here. Well, 18 to 20 inches. Okay, and right here is a short piece, so I am going to show you, I'm going to keep it because I'm going to show you if you cut your ribbon too short, what will happen when you try to make a bow. And you should be able to make about six to seven bows, depending on your cut. So I could have cut these about 14 to 16 inches and made about seven. I'm going to just put this up here. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you what happens when you cut your ribbon too short. You really don't have enough to complete the bow. So if you run into this issue, it's because you cut your ribbon too short. Make sure I have enough tail hanging. I'm going to go around the two fingers and come back up in the middle. I have my ribbon here. I'm just going to go around the index finger. Now your ribbon should be hanging in the back of your middle finger. And you're going to go in between the two in that V section. And you're just going to push this ribbon. You're just going to push all of the ribbon all the way through until it comes out on the other side. Okay, I'm just straightening out my bow. That doesn't mean anything. Okay, so when you have your flap, you wanna make sure that straightens well. Okay, straighten that as much as you can because that's forming your bow. 
So you're gonna take this, you're gonna turn your hand around, you're gonna take this ribbon and you're going to tuck it underneath the flap that sits on the right side. You're just tucking it underneath, not over, but underneath. And you're just pulling up and then pull down. Put your thumb right here to hold on to the knot. So you're going to pull up and pull down. And there's your bow. And I'm just gonna make sure this is tight. Give it a tug. And there's your bow. Okay. I'll cut these tails. Well, let's go ahead and cut them now. So I'm just cutting a tail. And this is the back part, so don't worry about the back of what your bow looks like. Okay, so you're going to burn these tips so that your bow doesn't unravel. Like, so some people like to squeeze them together. I like to use scissors and just, you know, make sure they're closed, okay? Now, I am fluffing out my bow. And this is my lime green candy apple bow or treat bow. Okay, I'm just gonna lay that right there. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what happens when you cut your ribbon too short. Okay, you make sure you have enough tail. Hang it down to hold on to. You're gonna go around your two fingers, come up in between the two. Then you're gonna take this and go over your index finger. And now you should have ribbon hanging down. You're going to tuck this in. I may be going a little fast on this one because I'm just showing you what happens when you cut your ribbon too short. So some of you may be saying you can't get it and your ribbon may just be too short. And then You bring that part out and then you try to go over, but I don't have enough. I don't have enough ribbon to even tuck up under here. So I can't make a bow because I don't have enough ribbon. You guys may just be cutting your ribbon too short. Okay. So I'm gonna have tail hanging down Make sure you have tail hanging down. You're going to just wrap this around the two fingers. Then you're gonna come up in between the two. You're gonna take this ribbon and you're going to go around the index finger only. And when you go around the index finger, your ribbon should be hanging behind your middle finger. Okay, then you're going to take this ribbon that's hanging behind the middle finger and you're going to tuck it in between the two fingers where the V forms in between your index and middle finger. So you're going to take this ribbon and 
and you're going to tuck it in between the two. There's no other way that I can show you this. Okay. You're just going to tuck it in between until you're stuffing this ribbon until all of it comes out on the other side and you just pull it out. Okay. When you pull it out, you're just going to take this and flap it over. You're just going to Pull it over, make sure it's straightened as best as you can get it. Then you're gonna come back on the back side and you're going to tuck this ribbon underneath this flap that sits on the right side. And you're going to pull up and pull down. See how I hold it when I pull down with my thumb? So you're going to pull up and pull down, and there's your bow. There's your bow. You're going to cut the tails off. And you're going to burn your tips so your bow doesn't unravel okay let it cool off a little bit and then you can pinch it okay so now I am going to fluff out my bow Here's your bow. Make sure you have enough tail hanging. You're going to go around the two fingers. You're going, you're going to go up in between the two fingers. And when you do that, you're going to have the extra ribbon. So what you do is you're going to take this and wrap only around the index finger only. So when you do that, your ribbon should be hanging behind the middle finger and you're just going to tuck this ribbon in between your index and middle finger at the bottom of the V section. You're just going to stuff it in until it reaches the other side. There you go. And you just take this and you guys, you just take it and go around the bow or you go around to form your bow. You take this ribbon and then you tuck it underneath the flap. Okay. Alrighty. Then you're going to pull up and pull down. You see how I put my thumb here when I pull down? Pull up, pull down. You can do this two or three times to make sure that knot is good and tight. And there's your bow. See? And so what I'm gonna do is cut my tails.
and then you burn the tips to prevent your bow from unraveling. Okay, so cool down some and then pinch it. I'm fluffing out my bow. Here's my bow. Make sure this is centered. Make sure you have extra, you know, make sure you have tail hanging down to hold on to. Okay. You go around your two fingers and you come back up in the middle. Okay. If you're practicing along, I'll wait on you. Okay. Take this ribbon and go around the index finger only. So when you go around your index finger, this ribbon should be behind your middle finger. You're gonna take this extra ribbon right here and you're going to tuck it in between the index and the middle finger at the bottom of the V. The V that forms at the bottom of your fingers, the index and the middle finger, this is where I'm stuffing all of this ribbon in between the two fingers. When you do that, it should come out on the other side. Okay, I'm just straightening out my bow. This doesn't mean anything. And I am going to take this flap and go right over it to form my bow. That flap forms your bow. So now I got to make sure my bow is going to stay in place. So to make sure your bow is going to stay in place, you're going to take this ribbon and you're going to tuck it underneath the flap. Pull it up, pull down. Pull up, pull down. And there's your bow. Okay. Cutting the tails. Take your lighter and burn the ends. Okay. You can take your scissors and push them together. Okay. And now you want to fluff out your bow. And here's the bow. Okay, this is my last bow. If you come 14 to 18 inches, you will be able to make six bows. Here's your tail. Make sure you have enough, make sure you have ribbon hanging. My ribbon hanging 
I have my ribbon right here. Make sure you have extra ribbon to hold on to right here. You're going to hold on with the ribbon with your thumb and your middle finger. Now you're going to take the ribbon and you're going to go around the two fingers. You're going to go around the two, your index and middle, and then bring it up in between, okay? Then you're going to take this ribbon and go around your index finger only one time. And when you do that, your ribbon should be behind your middle finger. You're going to tuck this ribbon in between the two. until it reaches the other side. Okay. Straighten out my ribbon that was sliding off my fingers. So you're going to take this ribbon and you're going to go around. You're going to take this flap and you're going to go around to form your bow. Once you do that, you're going to take this ribbon and tuck it underneath the flap that sits on the right side. You're going to tuck it underneath. You're not going to tuck it over. You're going to tuck it underneath. And then you're going to pull up and pull down. And there's your bow. You might want to do this a couple times just to make sure that knot is good and tight. Okay, here's your bow. I'm going to fluff it out as soon as I cut my tails off. Take your bow and you burn the tips. And you can squeeze it. Now you're just going to fluff out your bow. And here's your cute bow. Okay. And there's your cute bow. So here's all the cute little bows. Now, guys, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share my channel. You guys have a great weekend. Bye-bye.